Oh, hello, friends. Welcome back to the Tide Pool. I'm Roman. That's Paige. Hi. It's a heat wave. We are warm in Los Angeles. There's a heat wave spreading through Southern California. Mm -hmm. um, if you're actually in India and you're watching this, yes. then our heat waves are probably kind of bullshit. Yes. Um, but for us here this in the is valley, a lot. yeah, like 113. It got yeah. to 117. Really? Yeah, it got to 117 uh, here in the valley. Yeah. Which that that's like unheard of here. It's that's disgusting. really, really, really hot. I almost here. texted you last night at like three in the morning. I was like walking around the city, just in like the like a leotard. I was still so hot, and it was like ninety seven or like ninety four. Yeah, not even a hundred. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's like this is disgusting. So we're in different clothes. The hair's different. Yeah. Everything's just, different. Got no makeup on. But hey, we're here to watch Parmanu, the story of Pokran. Mm-hmm. Only thing we know about Pokhran is it was the site of India's first nuclear weapon yeah, detonation. Supposedly. Which is so interesting. But, I want to know what's going on here. So is this what this is going to be about? I'm guessing Parmanu. if that's the thing that we know about the city, then probably. But we could be, you know, delightfully surprised. I'm, I love these kind of trailers because when it comes to them, there's so much history mm, that yes. we get to learn about, especially because we don't learn about that much yeah. here in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think every single video, almost, besides some of, you know, the ones that are based more in fiction, even the ones that are not based, I think, I have no idea what I'm saying. Yeah, um, I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. There's the, and one that I thought of when you said that recently was um, the woman who saved the, the people from the hijackers, yes. and then she ended up giving her life, like uh -huh. she died and that yeah. stuff, and I was like, how am I, I can't we I never no heard idea. about this yeah. story. Um, yeah. Yeah, so there, and, and there's been quite a few of those actually that you guys have shown us, so that's Thank been really that. fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so let's watch this, let's see. Okay, uh, let's do this. We don't have subtitles. Yeah, we looked for them, um, and we can't find one with subtitles, so we're gonna just try to gather as much as we can just mm -hmm. from what we see and yeah. context clues. Joby Khan Kalega was an Akwe official post milieu. A salary, a medal, nothing. America, Hazar Sidi Zada at the mom's desk at Chukai. Look at that. You can't even fathom it. No. It looks... Now it's time for India to become a nuclear state. America ki lacrosse satellites. Har vakt hum par nazar rakhe hoye. Kuch nahi bachta in se. Mera plan hai inde puri tarah se avoid karna. Our mission ka base hoga Pokhran Ford. Par aap loog. Archaeological Survey of India ke officers ban ke jayenge. So we're looking for like the best place to have the test. It seems like that's gone. Chain your bombs test karne. And we'll be the next to pick. And they don't want the US to know mm -hmm. that it's happening. They're trying to hide it from the satellite. That's crazy. Six? Tell the president, let's stop this. Why don't you get it? Our cover has been broken. is soft. Shop to make a key. We have a youth major. But if push comes to shove, I will be chenier to. How do you even handle an atom bomb? I don't know. All we know is a good looking dude. Very attractive. Hooked up man. the first mm -hmm. atomic bombs for yep. her. So, what I gather from the story, yeah. and uh, I guess I should do some more yeah, research. Yeah, I want to know more about this too. Is that, um, yeah, it's basically like they were trying to undergo like secret uh, testing. A, atomic testing. Yeah. It was like they had to hide it from the Americans. Which is such a crazy thing. Like, you were, you, what you were saying too, like an atom bomb is insane. Like, what it is, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. happening with it, the reason you have them. 
It is nuts. I feel like we were just talking about this a few days ago, and I was shocked that the, the so many places have been like, and it happened, and that's that. You know, with like. What what this makes me think of is how, as like Americans, mm -hmm. there's like a little bit of like an arrogance to the way we think about the world and yeah, stuff because it's hip, it's hypocritical. Well, I just think it's interesting to think about like as another country of like, oh, it showed China as well. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh, okay, so like the U.S. has a bunch of nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. Russia, yep. China. And to like be a world power, you're like, okay, well, we have to have a nuclear weapon exactly. as well because if you don't, then you're powerless basically against mm -hmm. a country and World this, War II like kind of showed us that. Um, which is so crazy and so scary, but you're right where they're like, we are the powerful ones here, we have this. But then they're like, oh, no, nobody else can do, like you cannot do that. I don't want... Right, we don't, which we is don't what, want you doing that. Yeah, like uh, like always like a big um, uh, kind of like a, a mark against like Americans is always like you're trying to be like the moral uh, superior for everybody mm -hmm. or the moral. Well, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Moral savior, like moral, moral um, the moral, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, the pinnacle almost. No, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not the word I'm looking yeah. for. It's like. Uh, uh, yeah, but it, America gets to, gets to decide like mm -hmm. who's right, what what wars are worth fighting, like yeah. what and and um, something that my uh, Canadian ex girlfriend would talk to me about is how there's like this American kind of thing that we take for granted for, which is that like things revolve around us, yeah, like culture revolves around us, like wanting to be the best, like be the best in the world. It's like there's a certain like American mindset where we just kind of grow up with that yeah and to to be like in another country where it's like oh well we don't have the same things the same mm -hmm. uh, cultural influences or the same like um mili militaristic yes. influences like around the whole world and i just think it's like impossible for an american growing up to realize how much that like changes us and mm -hmm. affects us but even just watching this i was like oh my gosh like of course if you're this government you're like yeah, we we have to do this. Like we have to try yeah. and keep up and like, hide it. Mm -hmm. It's it's just what we were talking about too, where we were like, there's so many stories that we don't know because it's almost like America. It's like we, we know the stories we want to. Like it's like we're mm. taught the ones we want to know. Or even like when I would visit Denmark, and the kids were learning English in like fourth or third grade. Um, like my family members were learning all that and I was like we are only learning English you know like that's mm -hmm. the only thing and then in high school there's some other languages but they're you know if you want to like in so many other countries it's like you speak you speak English like and then from there it moves like you know what I mean it's like Wait, well, English is like a commonly taught as the one and a half languages like you learn your first language and it's like but you it, mm -hmm. especially if you're fortunate enough to have money you're like yeah. learning English mm -hmm. you know what I mean so you can have these opportunities and uh, you know, it's like a blessing to be to grow up speaking English, grow up in yeah. America. I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm getting all this from. This movie, it's just the race to be a nuclear superpower, and not even a superpower, but just like to test these bombs, but like keep it out of our vision. Mm -hmm. Like we're the ones, like you know what I mean. Like America, we're it like, D don't be testing any bombs, everybody. We yeah, got gotcha. you. Uh, but we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, which is what you guys are doing, but we get to do it. Like there's a that's. It's a messy situation. Yeah, so um, I'm curious though, like, kind of what happened in the aftermath of this? Because clearly, like, clearly everybody knows, like, what happened. Um, and, like, what kind of... Because, you know, right now there's all this tension of, like, North Korea testing weapons. Like, don't test weapons. Like, mm -hmm. in 1998, and I don't know, like, what the tension was of, like, was America, like, don't do this? Was America like, you know what I mean? What was the yeah. relationship? I'm not quite sure of like the I history there. Yeah, yeah, like in like what was the relationship and what was like the uh, the call that like what would have America done? I, I don't know. Like, yeah. and it seems like they pretty much did it. It seems like they got away from it or with you, it, right? We're gonna have to see it. Um, know. Yeah, but then when he's just running around like holding and they're holding the nuclear bomb, I'm like, yeah, I don't even know what a nuclear bomb looks like. Like what? You haven't seen like is it even? I guess we always see it with like a, so many shells over it. Yeah, like, I've seen a hull. Of course, yeah. But, but like, you don't what know is, what the inside so of a true. nuclear bomb looks like. I know. Like I've seen documentaries on it, or even the people that build them. Oh man, I heard like such an interesting story about how like the people that were building it. It's like we don't know if we're gonna live. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? God, it's like crazy. It's insane, guys. What do you think? Here, look at and this. This it? thing says here. Uh, Pokeron two, how India fooled the CIA. 
So they definitely did something. Yeah. Because you saw them like they were like underground and yeah. they were and I wonder if they're making it look like something else. And then you saw that like kind of dumb white guy like going like, like oh Aww. fuck, like, we, we missed coffee. it. Yeah, like we missed it. Yeah. Um, thanks guys. Thanks for requesting this. Yeah. Um, always like really really interesting stuff. I love mm -hmm. uh, getting all these kind of new tidbits of history and culture. Yeah. And we're doing a new thing where we're requesting things from our vlog. Yes. So if you want to request something from our vlog, there's a link below. You can click on that and request something. Yeah. Because uh, that's where we're going to now to look for requests. So uh, yeah. request that. And if people watch that, then give it some likes and get it visible to us. Yeah. Um, we'll start watching more of them. Um, yeah. It's great. Yeah. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Tidepool Kids. And let us know how hot it gets in your part yeah, of the world. Yeah, I want to know. I really do. Because up in the teens here is too much. A hundred teens? Yeah, one the, teens. The teens? Yeah, when it gets in the teens, well, one teens. When it's like teens. 18 degrees, yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thanks, bye. Bye.